Hello and welcome to this Robocraft 2 video or gameplay video with some commentary. I will com comment throughout the game here and there where I feel there's something interesting to say. For those who have been spending some time uh, on the Robocraft Discord playing Robocraft multiplayer or Robocraft 2 multiplayer uh, will know that the enemy team here is rather stacked with good players. So this is a hard game to win. Um, I'm going for my near here. Um, the near tower on this map is a bit further away it feels like than on some other maps. Uh, the rest of my team heads for, for the center right away. Since we don't have any in-game chat, you can't really communicate. You will just hope that um, well, your teammates kind of get the intention of what you're doing you know, and make good choices for themselves. Here I step out of my robot because there are no enemies near. And with Plasma and Rail, and they're rather bad at capping towers. Plasma is better than rail, but still not that fast. So it's actually faster to cap the tower, stepping out of your robot, shooting at it like I do here. If you have um, lasers equipped on your robot, uh, then of course that would be faster. While doing this, my teammate lost the battle mid. The enemy team have now cemented a position with very strong defense in the midpoint. If I would go in here alone, I would probably be toast rather fast. So what I'm doing here is I uh, just wait and hope uh, for more teammates to arrive so I can kind of time going in there and fight with teammates arriving. There's like no point really just running in alone like my teammate does right now. Um, there's should be more on the way. It's better to kind of wait for your teammates to respawn so you can go everyone at the same time. It gives a higher chance of success. But I see now that more teammates arrive, so I try to go in as well. I could probably be been going a bit more aggressive here. There are some rails in the background I'm really afraid of. And there comes the ray boss, Patu and Kiwi in um, fusion bots. So they fuse together to make like one super big bot that's even bigger than what actually should be possible because there's some wheel trickery to make it move um, faster than it should considering the weight of that robot. I lost my gun so that's why I'm backing off here to reassemble. And there we go. So midpoint is really really hard to break here. Another try. So that, that robot will be super hard to break. Taking some damage here, deciding to go through towards the other side. And here is Sino, an extremely good player with a very hard to break tank. Um, if you're fighting Sino, uh, his strong point is actually in front of his gun or from the front of his gun turret. So you should try to circle him. Uh, to not take like exchanging shots like front to front, but rather try to hit him from the side. Um, I won this engagement. Uh, he, to be honest, he would win more often than not. Uh, so far, I feel like he's winning a lot more of our engagement than I do. Here, I made a huge mistake chasing after him. I should not have done that. Um, and yeah, those bots that rely on some glitches to actually work also tend to glitch a lot like you can see there, probably wrecking itself. So the reason that bot is dying right now is not because of the enemy, but because of the glitch physics it's relying on in order to actually move. So it's looking rather grim here. Enemy have every single point. My team all went from for, for our near. Uh, I decided to try to upset stuff uh, to cap far. Uh, Flyers right now are rather weak. It only takes one single laser bullet to destroy uh, a thruster, but they are fast, very fast. So if something is undefended, it's a good way to kind of try to upset the game, forcing uh, the enemy to kind of rethink the strategy, drawing players from mid. Like if 
the enemy team can sit all five mid. Um, they can hold it for pretty much ever. Like taking the enemy near force at least one or maybe two players to go back and deal with it. Like here, uh, we have one going back from mid and another arriving here, which means I actually draw two players, even though I failed to actually capture the tower. I drew two enemy players from mid to the near, which gives the rest of my team at least a possibility to have the upper hand mid. So even if it's a failed attempt, it still does kind of something. Kind of boring maybe of me to just do another try at the same thing here. Um, but I'm feeling the mid is really hard to take at this point. At least without the subordinator, we should have it spawn by now, I don't know. So anyway, um, just doing the same thing. I will have a few seconds here before he arrives. And I managed to cap it just before he gets in there. This could have ended very differently, this engagement, if I didn't manage to cap the tower. This engagement between like a laser bot and a flying robot should in most cases or pretty much every single case be a win for the ground laser. The only reason, and I'm giving away what's going to happen here, that this is not, is so far this is the first time he's shooting at me. Until then, he just let me shoot at him while he's shooting at the tower. Again, not looking at me, shooting at the tower, shooting at the tower, shooting at the tower. And now maybe he's looking a little bit in my direction. I get so many free shots on him while he just focused down the tower. In this type of engagement, he needs to actually pay attention to me. If he does, I'm toast, but he needs to pay attention to me first and then take care of the tower. I sure can land a shot here and there while I go off. If he makes me kind of retreat up towards the upper part of the building, then he can focus on the tower. But while I'm hovering like towards like in the openings where I can actually hit him, he needs to lay down some fire in my direction. To be fair, that also wasn't really the strongest ground bot. Here I decide to, to change robots since my teammates, I already can't, I can't really defend anything with that one. My teammates are fighting for mid. Um, the flyer in a real engagement, I should not be able to actually compete. Um, and this time I do take the subordinator. I mean, it's a free robot. You can take the subordinator, then once that's, that is toast, you can go back taking your other robot. Now they recapped near, but they had, of course, to dedicate actually players to towards it. Subordinator is actually rather strong to just have sitting, once you capture the point, to actually just have it sitting there defending it. There is like no point in me really doing, I don't think I could like try to have three points captured. So it's better in this case, you stay at mid Try to hold this position and hope two points versus one is enough to recuperate um, the deficit in points we have. I really want to kind of prevent them from retreating here so they will have to respawn. I'm somewhat failing at that. And there's no point in chasing after that player. Subordinator is simply not fast enough for that. Here I decide that the subordinator start to become rather toast. Plus I notice one of the enemy players are actually capping our near and I want to prevent that. So the player who got away in the green vehicle, in the green shiny vehicle, is now capping our near. So he did something really good there. He saw it like, yeah, he can't take mid. So what he instead does is of course just drive through try to get to our near and upset the game that way. So that I think that was a very smart choice of him to do that, uh, gameplay-wise. And he almost gets it in time. Uh, 
that's one of the starter robots um, so yeah um, like you notice now I, I didn't notice it before but this is actually one of the starter robots we just repainted which also kind of explains how I could win that engagement with laser air versus laser ground um, and in like real robot uh, would have been able to take so much more damage before losing the guns and stuff so um, like that's really not an engagement I should be winning and I doubt I would be winning that engagement um, against anything else than, than the thing I was winning it against. Again, going for the back tower. Trying to focus, like, getting the enemy players away from mid. Like, since Kiwi, Patu and Signor are playing kind of tanky builds, and I can sit and defend mid very well, I need to upset it. If they, like, get to just sit there in the mid, uh, it's a win without any, any, any doubt. Again, going for the back tower. tower. And recapturing it. Some of, one of them switched to air right now. I don't think that's a very strong air build though. Like any air build can't really take that many that many shots. So, but I think that that one was mostly just thrusters and a gun. So, and that's it. Super even, super even game. Um, hope you enjoy watching it. And that's it.